everyone i'm sarah i'm lucinda and we're back with another colorful in co video and today is all about the color green green or as the sesame street uh, characters will tell you today is brought to you by the color green yes absolutely and not only do we have saint patrick's day coming up but some of our popular most popular videos are figuring out the best colors within your season on a particular color so for instance we already have done red and i'm going to make sure to leave it in a little tiny link that you can click so when you're done watching this you can go back and watch it but today since we're dealing with green and st patrick's day and we don't want you to get pinched that was lightning you're probably going to see that and you're yeah. going to hear some thunder in a second and but it's close yes okay <laughs> don't worry we're okay <laughs> All right, so we have divided up each season by each different green, but we've also divided up into 12 right. palettes <laughs> There's to a... give you a sense of the 12 palette system. There's a lot of gonna division going on today, and we're yes. just going to kind of do a quick brief breakdown of each of the seasons and then each of the divisions down into like warm, soft, light, deep, cool. Yeah, we're yeah. doing it. Once it, once you can see these, it, the, the beautiful thing about seeing these in the chart mm -hmm. is it really brings home right. what does it mean to be cool? What does it mean mm -hmm. to have a, a color that's soft mm -hmm. versus clear versus warm versus cool? And there's no better way to do that than mm -hmm. with these charts. Yeah, I don't think I fully was able to visualize each of the different seasons till I saw them laid out side by side just like this chart so this is really where you start fully understanding each season and what they look like cool versus warm light versus deep through the color green so it's, it's always really important for us to look at this chart mm -hmm. because it tells the whole story <laughs> um it, it does divide you up by season we know we'll, i'll refresh you in terms of what season is what as we go through these i'm going to start with the winter season mm -hmm. if you're dark haired and um you have zero red or gold in your hair, you are likely a winter. Mm -hmm. Now, what the twist on that is, we're going to give you some dominant characteristics that will help you tweak uh, even further uh, what kind of a winter you are. So um, the way that we broke this down is by four seasons, and then each of the four seasons is broken down into three. And three, three dominant characteristics. Right, three, the three breakdown is where we really see those dominant characteristics that we right. are always talking about. And they're not the same. Mm -hmm. So I'll go get into the, to it to explain right. why they're not the mm -hmm. same. So with winter, you have clear, you have cool, and you have deep. So as a clear winter, you're more like a... Courtney Cox, I always say the same actress, and mm -hmm. Sarah says a different one mm -hmm. that's from her generation. But um, those vivid eyes, yes. dark hair. I think Elizabeth Taylor. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark hair, pale, light skin, and then very cool, bright eyes. Mm -hmm. So that is a clear. And we call it clear because, you know, it's pretty much clear if some if you're if we always say you can get the dominant characteristics really well organized if you say well what would you describe this person how would you describe this person if they were running away from the scene of a crime well would they have you know really dark hair really light skin you know mm -hmm. lots of contrast or would they be really cool would everything about them be super cool like their hair is cool their eyes are cool their skin tone is cool and everything just screams to you this is cool. Right. And then, of course, there's deep. If you have really dark hair, if you have a deeper skin tone. We're talking like medium to dark skin tone. Correct. That then puts you in the deep category, which gives you a little more, um, a, a little more description in terms of dividing up your winter season. Mm -hmm. Now, is it going to completely wreck your, your appearance and your look if you slide from one season to another? I don't think so. There are some who live these 12 season palettes and there are others who think, well, if you look on the chart, they're kind of all in the same family. Mm -hmm. So uh, take it as you will. We're here to inform you. So the next category is summer. It's my season. Yeah, I have to be so. But I will tell you that I used to be an autumn. Mm -hmm. My hair went gray. I became a summer. Mm -hmm. So summers can be divided up by light, and that would be, you know, as we talked about before, light skin, light eyes, mm -hmm. um, 
and you're running away from the scene of a crime and they say, oh, she had really light hair and, you know, like really pale blonde or ash blonde and she was, you know, light, pale skin, whatever. It's funny that you're having a hard time because I love your analogy when you talk about ish. Ish. Whenever you describe like people, if you have gray ish hair, if you have blue ish, green ish, eyes, yeah, that's how like... that's how you can tell a summer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're looking at somebody and you notice, well, they're kind of ish. Their hair color is grayish. Their skin tone is kind of, uh, I don't know, beigeish, neutralish, neutralish. Yeah, like it's just. But and my eye color, my eye color is green, blue, gray ish. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if somebody were trying to describe me, they would say, well, her eyes are kind of greenish, bluish. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Depending on the day. Right. De de depending on my clothes, too. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's the summer in totality. And then we get divided up by if my hair is super cool and my skin tone is pink, you know, very cool, very, very cool. And my eyes are very cool, like an ice blue and no greenish in them. Mm -hmm. um, then that would make you a cool summer. And then a soft summer is where your contrast is just barely there. Mm -hmm. Your hair is about the same kind of tone as your skin skin tone and your eye color. It all is kind of similar. I was going to say soft. Or... Yeah. Well, I was, I was looking for an adjective other than soft. Right. So that gets you kind of through the cool seasons. Well, that, it means you have to wear soft color. So that's there Indeed it does. Softer than... For example, the light summer. Mm -hmm. Now, the light summer doesn't necessarily have to wear light colors, but it does mean that they have to be nuanced in such a way that it's better for the light summer than, say, the cool summer. Mm -hmm. Now, we haven't determined what I haven't told you in the 12 palette system what I am. And so a little fun we're going to have here is have you guys tell me in the 12 palette system, what am I? Ooh, good one. All right. So moving away from summer into spring. Springs nice are fun. Springs. springs are fun. Um, your light, mm -hmm. medium to light hair, or medium hair up, you know, toward mm -hmm. light. Like golden. And yes. lots of red or gold. Mm -hmm. You can be strawberry blonde. You can be that red. Or you could be a golden honey blonde. Mm -hmm. That gold. Red or gold highlights, that puts you in the warm category. And then you get divided up from light to warm to clear mm -hmm. so a light spring would be that pale blondish color that you see so often mm -hmm. and it's not you know it hasn't it's it's light but it hasn't slipped over into um cool it's you you've got some some yellow tones in it mm -hmm. rarely will you ever see red tones in hair that's really warm and light mm -hmm. um then you get warm the warm would be like your strawberry blonde or somebody who's got a lot of color in their hair. And again, running away from the scene of a crime. Oh, she had light red hair. Eh, warm spring. And then clear means that you've got that contrast like you do with the winter uh, season. And there's, there, there's it, it, some people call it bright. And that is that your hair is bright, your skin tone against your hair is bright, and your eye color is bright brighter than the other springs so with those with that grouping you get different greens but like mm -hmm. i said they're not so far afield that you know if you slip from one to the other and you saw this outfit that was just to die for mm -hmm. and it might be over in the warm category a little bit mm -hmm. do not worry you're still a spring mm -hmm. when everything is said and done you are a spring absolutely and if i may i'm going to move to autumn which is what sarah is Ooh, yes. and believe it or not it's what i used to be mm -hmm. my hair was the color of sarah's mm -hmm. before i went all ish by going gray so this is what i have to look forward that's to that's right autumns can be soft or warm or deep mm -hmm. and um again running away from the scene of a crime this this particular autumn she's like deeper you know mm -hmm. autumn has medium to deep hair mm -hmm. and it's warm red or gold mm -hmm. lots of it it can be like a, a reddish brown. You can be golden brown. Um, and the, I, auburn. Yeah, auburn. I, all mango. of those mm -hmm. colors are within yeah. the autumn mm -hmm. palette. Even like a chocolate brown with a lot of gold in there. Mm. That yep. too. I mean, yep. yeah. Just look for red or gold highlights mm -hmm. in medium to dark. A soft Stop autumn it. is someone where everything is kind of in the same 
vein. You know, you don't have massive swings one way or the other. You know, the hair, the eye color is kind of soft. The hair color is soft. Mm -hmm. And your skin tone is kind of soft. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do the same thing with Sarah. You guys are going to have to color analyze her into the, the 12 palettes and pick which autumn she is. But the other category is warm. Looking at somebody like Sarah, is she very warm? Is the hair very red, um, very deep? Is her skin tone really warm? Um, are her eyes really warm, maybe green with a really uh, warm skin and lots of red in the hair, lots of gold in the hair. So that makes for a warm autumn. And then a deep autumn is someone with a dark brown hair and maybe their skin tone is a little deeper. So you don't see a lot of contrast between the hair and the skin tone and the eyes might be a little bit deeper. And some of this is nuanced so that you have to kind of look at somebody and make a determination mm -hmm. um, whether you see any of these three things. And admittedly, it's tough. Um, but you're going to color analyze Sarah, and we're going to let you know how, she, how you did with her in terms of is she soft, is she warm, or is she deep? Yeah. Now, I know the answer to this. I mean, she's easy. Well, I'm I a should, little bit harder. I should say I have like bluish, greenish, grayish, grayish eyes. eyes. Like, Imagine that. <laughs> my hair is like a reddish. Um, I, I feel would like I'm say it's, it away. it's closer to being an auburn. Yeah, like an it's a a deep red, but not a vivid red. Right, uh, not a sharp red. It's mm -hmm. just got lots of red in it, but it's mm -hmm. not all that. You know, if I were painting her and I were mixing her hair color. I would use a little bit of red, lots of brown, just right. a hint of red, mm -hmm. lots of brown, um, and keep it muted. So let, let's kind of go to what it looks like on. Mm -hmm. Like imagine you're going to get a simple shirt for St. Patrick's Day. So if, if you're a winter, uh, we're showing you a great color for winters. Mm -hmm. And just imagine somebody with the black hair, with the dark brown hair, mm -hmm. um, with this first color that we're showing, which is like an evergreen or pine. Right. I feel like if ever you're shopping and you see like forest green or a pine, those usually tend to be bluer, deeper shades of green. So that's how you know you're kind of getting into the winter. Well, I hate to disagree with you because I rarely disagree with you. Haha. <laughs> really? <laughs> but sometimes I've seen these things described as pine or forest and they look nothing like a forest or a pine so there, you've got to be careful. there yeah there are a few there are a few people out there that just <laughs> yeah get so, it wrong but right. i feel like in general if you hear some of those adjectives it leads you maybe, in the right direction maybe. yeah 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 so um with all you beautiful winters out there dark hair mm -hmm. um no red or gold highlights Lots something like yeah something mm -hmm. like this is just gonna be stunning mm -hmm. Um, our next category is my favorite, and I think I have a couple tops that are this color. Mm -hmm. um, th this we're suggesting for for summers because, you know, you're a little on the lighter side and you're yeah. ish. We don't want you to wear anything that arrives in the room before you do. And mm -hmm. that's particularly true of summers because summers are just so delicate and they're so, so um, soft. Yeah, I, had, for the most I, part. I was going to say soft too. I hate to say soft because then we broke it down to three more. But And the spring season is bright and the autumn season is soft. Right. All right. So thank you for joining us today. I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And this is Colorful and & Co. And we will see you in the next video.